Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Ever send a purchase order too late and find yourself wondering exactly when to send a request for quotation? We need to send that RFQ so stock shows up before we run out, but not so early that cash is tied up on a shelf. Purchase lead times are that answer. So set them up once, and Odoo will tell you the perfect day to confirm an RFQ and the day those goods should arrive at your warehouse. They automatically keep procurement on point while we meet our delivery deadlines. Vendor lead times, well, that happens to be the calendar days it takes a supplier to deliver after you confirm a PO. The security lead time is a company-wide buffer of calendar days that Odoo adds to every purchase order. It's just to offset any unexpected delays, maybe unavailable stock, shipping delays, other unforeseen issues. Life happens. So it's like when you tell your friend who's always late to arrive 30 minutes earlier than everyone else because they always get stuck in traffic. Tricked by an earlier meetup time, they arrive at the same time as everyone else. Now, days to purchase is the calendar days the vendor needs to review your RFQ before they confirm with you. Once they do, you click confirm order and the countdown begins. Now, let's see how all of this works together with the ergo chair. So first, the vendor lead time is seven days, which is the typical transit time from Gemini Furniture to our warehouse. Next, we have a two-day purchase security lead time, which is a buffer for any unforeseen issues or delays. And lastly, the days to purchase lead time is one day, which gives them a full business day to check their email, determine whether they have stock, and confirm that they can get the product to me. Together, these three lead times give Odoo a 10-day planning window. Now, when using reordering rules, Odoo will remind you to order 10 days before the quantity is expected to drop below the minimum. All right, that was a lot of background information, so let's dive right into the database to set that up. So first, here we are inside of the inventory application. We're going to select products up in the top heading and then products once again. Pick that ergo chair that we talked about. Now we're going to make our way over to the purchase tab. So in the vendor price list, we have our default vendor, which happens to be Gemini Furniture. We've set the delivery lead time that we happen to have over here to seven days. That's actually the vendor lead time. I know we should be consistent, but that's just a little uh, doopsie. All right, on to the next lead time. So we're going to go over to configuration and settings this time around. We're going to scroll down until we see the word advanced over here so that we know we're at the right place. Advanced scheduling. There we go. Now you want to make sure this little checkbox next to security lead time for purchase is checked. Now we want this field over here to say two days. Next over here is days to purchase, which we want set to one day. Now, if you're setting this up for the first time, our doers, remember to hit save in the top left corner. It's uh, always a very good tip. So with our lead time set up, let's go to the replenishment report to check what we need to order today. Well, in this case, a reorder. So let's do that by going to operations over here. And this time we're gonna select replenishment down at the bottom. So this is where Odoo uses manual reordering rules to notify us that things need to be ordered. For more about setting up reordering rules, check out that tutorial link below. So here we have our ergonomic chair line. We see that we have zero on hand. And in the minimum column that we have over here, well, we should have at least three in stock. Let's click on our nice little eye icon that we have right there. Okay, so the blue highlighted forecasted date is the sum of all my purchase lead times listed above. Odoo checks to make sure that we have enough to fulfill orders from today to the forecasted date, and the reordering rules work to replenish that. For a deep dive on what all of this means, just for your procurement, check out our just-in-time logic video, also linked below. All right, let's click. In our case, I think it's time for us to just close out of this, and we're going to select order. Why? Well, because we're here. Now we see an RFQ was created, as you saw from our nice little link. I could click that link, but it's also disappeared. So we're going to go out of here, and I'm going to show you the way to do this if it also disappeared on you. Now we're in the purchase application. And look at that. Right here, the most recent RFQ for Gemini Furniture. So on the RFQ, you notice we have an order deadline, and that happens to be tomorrow. That's the days to purchase at work. When an RFQ is created, the order deadline is the day the RFQ was created plus the days to purchase. And our expected arrival date is seven days after the order deadline, which is eight total days from today. So to send the RFQ to the vendor, we're going to click send by email over here. Now, once you do that, Odoo starts to prep us with a compositional email. We'll review that the email is very, very nice. We'll review the actual template, and then we're just going to hit send over here. Perfect. 
Once that sends on over, we see in the chatter, all the vendor has to do when they receive the email is click accept right there. We make it easy. Now let's pretend to be the vendor for a second. They receive this email and open up the portal view. They'll see that we need 10 shares, expecting it on the receipt date. And all they have to do is click the accept button on the left side. And then once that the vendor accepts, we got our nice confirmation over here. The RFQ has been acknowledged by Gemini Furniture. Thank you, Odubot. All right, with that acceptance, let's confirm our order over here. Now you'll notice the expected arrival date remains eight days from today, even though our lead time is seven. That's because we confirmed the RFQ one day before its order deadline. Odo retains the original arrival date. The result is that the supplier has eight days to ship it to us. They ship sooner, we get everything sooner. So let's click our receipt smart button up at the top center over here. All right, this shows us at this point that the warehouse is expecting the shipment from Gemini Furniture on or before our scheduled date over here. This transfer is linked to our purchase order, as you can see over here, for our source documents. So I, the purchasing team, can stay in sync with the warehouse team. Finally, I'm going to click validate over there. Now, once that I did that, well, guess what? The deadline turned into effective date that we have over here, showing us the difference between the scheduled date of arrival versus the date we actually received the item. And there you have it. That's the convenience of purchase lead times. Once you've told Odoo how long suppliers and logistics really take, the system schedules everything for you. No spreadsheets, no guessing, no stockouts. Thanks for watching, Odooers. Remember, you're doing great. Grab a snack. I don't have one once again. I need to get more. See you next time.